Hello, today I'm going to show you how to bead this simple brick stitch beading pattern. I'm going to show you how to do a ladder stitch base row, decreasing brick stitch, increasing brick stitch with multiple bead extension. Then I'm going to weave in and stitch this decreasing row and add a bead tip. Okay, let's begin. I'm going to show you something different. It's a different way to stitch up the ladder stitch row. I think it's a simpler way, but you tell me what works best for you, the traditional way or this modified way. Okay, I'm going to add on my stopper bead. It can be any bead used to stop your working beads from sliding off the thread. And I'm just circling around just like this, pulling tight. And I leave a four to six inch tail. Okay, instead of picking up bead by bead and circling around to do the traditional ladder stitch, I'm going to string all of my beads onto my thread. So it's green, red, purple, green, red, and a jump ring. Okay, now that all of my beads are on here, I am going to, from the tail end, the tail end of my thread, I'm going to go up the first bead nearest the jump ring, circle around, make the circular stitch, pull, and that's my first bead. To secure the jump ring, I'm just going to go bead one more time in a circle and come out of that red bead. Okay, just like this. So the red bead connects to the green bead. So again, from the tail end, I'm going to push my needle up and around in a circle like this and pull. The next bead is this purple bead. Same thing from the bottom, the tail end, I make that circle and I pull. Then it's the red bead. From the tail end, circle and pull, and the last bead, which is the green bead, it's a circle, you see the circle, and I pull. Okay, so I'm going to push my stopper bead up just to keep the tension, and I'm liking the tension, there's no spaces between the beads. So I'm going to lock this row by stitching down through the red bead and up through the green bead. Just like that. And pull tight. This is my ladder stitch row. Okay. The next row, row number two, follow the arrows. It starts with a purple and a green bead bead. So the decreasing row, the beads are pushed in, so that's why it's called a decreasing row. We start with two beads, the purple and the green. And for the decreasing row, I'm going to skip over this bridge right here that's made by the thread. I'm going to anchor to the second thread bridge. So, slip my needle under the thread between the red and purple bead. And my beads will be sitting funny, so I want to fix that. I'm going to do it by sticking my needle from the tail end up the second bead on the row and pull. And now, 
put down the purple bead I'm making a circle closing that circle by going back up the green bead and I pull tight there's the beginning of my second row I add my third bead go under the next open thread bridge right here pull and go up the bead I just added next is purple I go under the next open thread bridge and pull go back up the purple bead and pull it tight okay so this is my ladder stitch row and my decreasing brick stitch row next we're working on the increasing brick stitch see how it pops out and goes over the edge so it's an increasing row but it continues to increase way past the second row so this is a multiple bead increase I'll show you how it's done again I pick up the first two beads green and red always start with two beads green and red and instead of anchoring under the second thread bridge like I did for the decreasing brick stitch row I'm going to anchor to the first thread bridge just like that pull and when I pull it you see how it sits nicely so I don't need to circle around I'm just going to go back up that red bead just like that now I continue to add my beads to purple back up green under the thread bridge back up red oh there's no thread bridge to use so I know there's a thread bridge right here I used it to anchor this green bead so I'm going to use that same thread bridge to anchor my next bead so red bead I'm gonna pull it and I'm gonna go up my red bead just like that so I have three rows but I'm gonna extend it out further with a red and a purple bead did I make a mistake no okay so I am going to pick up a purple bead I'm going to circle around like I did with a ladder stitch just like that going one more time circle around okay I'm exiting out the red bead but to start row four I need to be exiting out this green bead so this is what I'm going to do I'm just going to weave in. I want to exit. This is my target bead, this green bead right here. I need to be exiting out this bead to start my new row. So I'm going to poke my needle down the green bead. And I'm going to pull my thread. I need more thread. I'm going to poke it down the purple bead poke it back up the green bead and poke it up the green bead where I need to start okay 
So now I'm ready to start row number four. Row four, we begin with a green bead and a red bead. And I'm doing a decreasing stitch. So the decreasing again, I skip over the first thread bridge. This is the bridge closest to where the thread is exiting. And I go under the second thread bridge. I'm gonna pull. Uh oh, I got a knot. Okay, pull. And I'm gonna go up the red bead. I have to circle around. Uh oh, okay, there. And I'm gonna go down the green bead. Back up the red bead. And add my final bead for this row by just going under the thread bridge and going back up that purple bead. Okay, now I'm going to make a bead tip, that green bead right at the top. This is good for kitty cat ears or a person with short arms or short short legs. Okay, the green bead, it's going to sit horizontally like that. Now I'm going to poke it down that red bead and pull and see how it's sitting. Then I'm going to secure it by going up the purple. Then I'm going to go back to the green. I can do that one more time just to make sure it stays down the red, up the purple, through the green. Oops, through the green. Okay, so watch your thread. You don't want it to tangle and show you through your beadwork. Okay, now. I want to end by the piece. Oh, sorry, my thread is so short. I'm gonna pull it down. Okay, I'm just gonna weave through my beadwork to hide my thread. Weave through my beadwork. The bead right through the beads below. thread is unraveling because I reused it. So you want to use a fresh thread. Okay. Okay. And now through the purple. And I can cut I can cut my thread right here, right close to the beadwork. Just like that. And the tail end, I would stitch it right through again and cut it close to the beadwork. Okay, so let's say I ran out of thread before I needed to complete my beadwork. I see a little piece of dusty string here. Okay, remember to use a new piece of thread instead of reusing your thread. Otherwise, it shreds and you can see ugly pieces just like this. Okay, so to add on, I'm just going to add, oops, I'm going to add on another stopper bead. Just like this. And I want to add beads to this row right here. So the easiest way would be to weave through the beads. Just like this. Stop her bead will hold the tail. And I'm going to. Just continue to add. 
stitching under the thread bridge and continuing on the row. Okay, so this is how you do the brick stitch with a modified ladder stitch row and by learning all these stitches you can stitch anything you want well almost everything you want okay thank you Bye-bye.